The Turlock Journal presents high school football from the field to your screen. The Blitz, sponsored by Moxie Credit Union. Welcome to The Blitz, I'm Frankie Tovar. And I'm Eddie Ruiz. And it's time for some Saturday night highlights. This time from the Hillmar versus Escalon game that opened up the Trans Valley League season on Friday. And when it was all said and done, the final score is 28 to 14 with the Cougars on top. Yeah, but the thing with this game that you always have to take a look at is the fact that it's a rivalry game. So a both heated teams, rivalry. Yeah, game. absolutely. So both teams went in there, you know, very excited, very enthusiastic, trying to hit the hardest that they could, play the hardest that they could. There was injuries. I mean, but every team, I'm just saying, was playing very tough. And maybe some of those nerves kind of got to them because there was a lot of penalties so. and a lot of punts as well throughout the game. And I felt like that kind of cost Hillmar. But they'll bounce back, I believe, in the in the TVL. It's just going to be very difficult now considering Escalon has an edge. Absolutely. And again, 28 to 14 was the final score. Most of those points were scored in the second half though, because the first half was a sleeper. We had turnover on downs. We have minimal yards gained from both teams. And right here, Crowley rolling to his right. He's trying to avoid the sack. He flips it to Azevedo and they can't get the first down. Leads to the sixth putt of the game up until this point. But man, Eslon, they're about to put things on the burner. Here's Christensen, number three, taking the punt and taking it 50 yards downfield. He ends up being stopped at the 15 yard line. And what happens next is quarterback Steven Grossi. He's looking for a receiver, rolling to his right. He tucks it and runs, but no. Here's a big mistake from Hillmar. Hit out of bounds, it's a penalty. Sets him up for a five yard touchdown punch from Christensen. 7-0 with a little over a minute left, and that's your halftime score. Three straight punts to start off the second half, the third quarter to be exact. And right here, what's called a P.I. against Hillmar. That's penalty number eight so far up to this point. And then Grossi is going to find Max Nicholas for a 20-yard gain, which is eventually going to lead to this Hugo Alcala 10-yard touchdown run to make it 14-0 with 4.36 left in the third. Hillmore down by two, but they start to wake up. Their offense does at least, and here's Isaac Sharp. 46 yards, it's the longest run from scrimmage for the entire game, and it sets up Hillmore in Escalon territory. Then Crowley, the quarterback, he connects with Azevedo for a 24-yard strike, and two plays later, who is it? Johnny Silvera, a one-yard plunge to make it 14-7. to the Hillmar defense forces Escalon to a three and out, and here they are on offense. Justin Redfro, 14-yard pickup, and that kid went to state for wrestling. He's tough. One play later, though, to start the fourth, here's Tristan Crowley connecting with Brian Malone for a 46-yard touchdown, 14-14. Escalon responds immediately with a seven-play scoring drive. Here's the quarterback to Max Nicholas for a six-yard pickup. Then, right through the air again, this time for 37 yards. He connects with number three, Caden Christensen. That's a sneaky play out of the backfield. And finally, they cap it off by going to set net. I'm talking Nash, number 28. Here it is, the quarterback dropping back. 10-yard touchdown. Oh, he gets the pile on 21 to 14 with 828 left in the game. Escalon's last scoring drive here is Elliott Mello picking up a tough six yards. And one play later, again, Mello. This time, this kid busts loose for 20 yards hitting the corner. Finally gets stuck. And then again, though, you're going to Mello. Why not? 41 yard touchdown run right there. It's going to make it 28 to 14 with 248 left. It's a tough kid, man. Very tough indeed. And that puts Hillmar in a tough position trying to battle back. Here's Crowley right now, though. Dropping back, rolling to his left, and he connects with Renfro for an 11-yard pickup. And the very next play, it's Isaac Sharp. Here's a counter, a 16-yard pickup. They're trying to get something going. It all falls apart right here. Crowley heaves it into the air. It's tipped and it's intercepted. That seals the deal. Number five just picked up the win for Escalon. That's Dutra. And here, the victory formation. They kneel. Final score, 28 to 14. Hillmore drops their first TVL game. Without a doubt, the shortest highlight segment of the season so far, and that's what happens when it's a defensive battle. Before we move forward to the show and talk more about the matchup, let's recognize our sponsor, Moxie Credit Union. Are you looking to buy a car or a house and you need a loan? Well, hey, guess what? You need Moxie. Moxie Credit Union, they've been supporting the Blitz for four seasons, and they could support you as well. Go check out Moxie on Gear Road and tell them the Blitz sent you. Now after Friday's win, Escalon is now 3-3 three and three alongside Hillmar, but yeah. they have that one game edge in the league. Yeah, and it's going to be huge because from this point on, obviously Hillmar 
needs to look at it like a must win game. So we're gonna see how they're gonna respond, especially coming off a game like this, where I know everyone was a little bit disappointed with the turnout. But the Yellow yeah. Jackets, they're tough. Too, and they have regardless. Houston next week, yeah. and that's gonna be a big game because Houston is three and three as well with an 0-1 record in the TVL after being beat by Modesto Christian. But we're gonna talk more about uh, Hillmar versus Escalon, Hillmar versus Houston, and all the other things that happened on Friday and in between on Monday's edition. You wanna tune into that yeah. because since we didn't have a lot this episode, yeah. not a whole lot of highlights, you know? No, 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 we'll no. have a lot more on Monday. You don't wanna miss it. You can find that at turlockjournal.com. Find all the updates and all the clips at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel to see all of our full episodes. So until Monday, I'm Frankie Tovar. I'm Eddie Ruiz. Good night.